welcome dear student now we will see the next point velocity time graph for uniform velocity now see a train is moving with a uniform velocity of 60 km per hour for 5 hours now you can see here this is the velocity that is kilometer uh, per hour and time in hours so 1 hour 2 hour 3 4 5 6 10 and 10 km per hour 20 km per hour 30 km 40 50 and 60 so train is moving with a uniform velocity now you can see here this train is moving with uniform velocity that is 60 km per hour for up to 5 hours the velocity time graph now see this is the velocity and this is the time and this is the graph this line has been plotted towards we have plotted this dotted line so graph for this uniform motion in shown figure 1.5 so this is the uniform motion why it is called as uniform motion because every one hour the train is traveling up uh, in uniform velocity or moving in a uniform velocity that is 60 km per hour in a first hour 60 km in second hour 60 km in third hour 60 km per hour and in fourth and so on so now first question is that with the help of this graph how will you determine the distance covered by train between 2 to 4 hours dilela graph cha adare ya train ne dusra tas ani chautha tas mhanje 2 tas ani 4 tas ya tasamade nemke kiti antar cover kele he tumhi kase sangu shakal so tya sathi formula apan vaparla s is equal to v into t is equal to 60 km per hour is equal to kimti thevle apan tyala 60 km per hour into 4 hour minus 2 hour that is 4 hour t2 minus t1 is equal to and jar tyala uttar calculate kele tumhi to ita 120 km per hour mange sa uttar kay hota ki with the help of this graph we can set it as the train covered the distance between 2 to 4 hours is 120 km and this much of distance that uh, train has been covered now second question is is there any relation between the distance covered by train between 2 to 4 hours and area of a perpendicular quadrilateral in a graph now see this is the very uh, nice concept and again they have again at at the third question at they have given here so what is the acceleration of the train now see first of all so area of a quadril uh, quadrangle is uh, abcd is equal to 60 km per hour into 2h that is 120 same here so you can take the distances and you will be find out answer 120 km same answer here and so what is the acceleration of the train the acceleration of a train is zero now you can remind the uh, concept of acceleration that is zero acceleration it never change their velocity at all in regarding time so because of this is called as the acceleration is a zero so this is the velocity time graph for uniform velocity now see the velocity time graph for uniform acceleration that was in for velocity this is for an acceleration again the change the changes in the velocity of a car specific time interval are given as a following car hit object hai ani tyacha nemka velocity madhe change kasa hoto time specific time nusar to ya table madhe dilela hai baka टाइम सेकेंड्स मे है वेलॉसिटी मीटर पर सेकेंड मे है ज्यास जीरो सेकेंड टाइम है तो वेस वेलॉसिटी सुधा जीरो मीटर पर सेकेंड है एंड वेन टाइम इज फाइव सेकेंड देन अगेन वेलॉसिटी गोज इन्क्रीज अप टू एट मीटर पर सेकेंड नाउ यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हाउ द वेलॉसिटी आर गोइंग चेंजेस एट सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी फोर थर्टी टू फोर्टी फोर्टी एट एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स नाउ यू कैन सी हियर द अगेन दिस वैल्यूज आर प्लॉटेड ऑन अ ग्राफ नाउ यू कैन सी हियर फाइव टेन Uh, 20, uh, 15, 20. Now you can see here. So we have plotted the graph here. Now see here, the velocity changes here on the basis of that graph. We can first of all we conclude some points. So the velocity changes. Now see here, the velocity changes equal amounts in an equal time of an interval. Manje saman kala odi madhe saman antar itha hi kapte manje equal amount sama pramana. वेलॉसिटी तो जी अमाउंट है ती कस इक्वल है सो दस इट इज कॉल्ड एज ए यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन इन एक्सेलरेशन इन एक्सेलरेटेड मोशन मजे त्वरण जे है ये कस है यूनिफॉर्म है कशाला 
त्वरणित गती मध्य आता ही एक्सेलरेटेड मोशन त्वरणित गति अपन सो सीम्पल दिस इज द युनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन एंड बॉडी इज एक्सेलरेटेड मोशन सीम्पल हि सो फॉर ऑल युनिफॉर्मली एक्सेलरेटेड मोशन सगैच प्रकार त्वरणित ज्या गति एक समान एक रेशे समान गति द वेलॉसिटी टाइम ग्राफ इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड दिस इज अगेन दिस लाइन हैज अ स्ट्रेट एंड बिकॉज इन द युनिफॉर्म मोशन युनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन एंड इन बोथ केसेस वी हैव सीन दैट इफ द ग्राफ शोज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन ग्राफ इट मीन्स दैट इज अ युनिफॉर्म ऑब्जेक्ट इज एन युनिफॉर्म मोशन और युनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेटेड मोशन एंड फॉर नॉन युनिफॉर्मली एक्सेलरेटेड मोशन द वेलॉसिटी ग्राफ मे हैव एनी शेप मीन इट इज नॉट अ इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन हाउ एक्सेलरेशन चेंजेस विद द टाइम इट मीन्स दैट एवरी टाइम स्लॉट Uh, it velocity sometime increases decreases there is a no uh, uniformness in that velocity so because and it having a it doesn't have a in a straight line graph now see so to find uh, from the graph the average velocity of a car if you want to calculate the average velocity of a car now you can uh, draw uh, you can put the line from point b to on a velocity this as we seen in the dotted line and you can see there so 32 plus 16 divided by 2 now see here 32 plus 16 here 16 divided by 2 average we can have it calculating the average so 24 meter per second you can take any two slots you will be find out the average velocity is the same multiplying this the time interval that is 10 second gives the distance covered by in a car distance covered 24 meter per second into 10 second that is 240 meter so this is the average velocity of that car is 24 meter per second and distance covered meanwhile in this time with the help of this uh, uh, velocity in a 10 second that is 240 meter so this is the distance covered by the car in a 10 meter with how much velocity 24 meter per second now check that similar the example of a train in the distance covered is given by area of a abc and same again in the previous example we have Uh, you can check it out so you will be find out the speed and time and you will find out uh, the distance covered by the train again so these two are very important point velocity time graph for uniform velocity and velocity time graph for uniform acceleration so our next point is equation of a motion using graphical method in next uh, lecture